Why do we need Lone Cove? Just wondering. Can we go to the outpost and sell the gems we have? Hey guys, Fuzzy here. Now me and my wife Jackie usually sail off stream, just, you know, finish commendations, talk about kids, life and future plans. That reaper flag is heading right for us. Usually when we sail like this, we do not engage in PvP, but if someone keeps tailing us, we have to obviously fend them off. Take the wheel. I decided to take advantage of this based on your suggestions and comments to do a gameplay video where I narrate over and walk you through what's happening. There's nothing scripted in this video, it's just raw footage with narration. Oh, someone's boarding you. Be careful, be careful. Now, as you can see, I tried to board their ship as they turned left straight towards our ship. And I missed their ladder. But now, I can see that they failed in that attempt and there's a guy right in the water. Now, as he fails to board our ship, plan B is try and kill me. We have our first encounter and I try and understand his behavior. Jump, jump off the ship, jump off the ship, it's fine. Now I told Jackie to jump off the ship because there's only one guy on that one, so he's not gonna abandon ship or else he'll be heading off course. Now Jackie sells everything as expected and that guy did not stop her at the sea post because he had to turn the ship left because there's only one guy on it. As Jackie sells, I balance the wheel straight to be on a path free of obstacles. Now I go for my boarding attempt because I need to be on their ship to understand what they have and get an impression of their skill level and what they are able to do. As you can see, I'm heading towards their right ladder and I should be there at any moment now. Now the guy sees me on the bowsprit and I go up. First thing I noticed that uh, they missed a couple of blunderbuss shots which kind of gives me an impression that it's not going to be one shot kill every time I board their ship, which is an advantage for me. As I try and avoid their offense, I end up falling off the ship while jumping around. Then I go for my second boarding attempt. It's not gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna be fine. This time, they're aware that I'm coming. You know, they're, they're evolving. So what I do is change the way I'm playing. I actually want to wait for him to shoot me once, so I can go up the ladder as he's reloading to increase my chances of boarding them. There's the shot, now he's reloading, I jump up, then I notice the other guy waiting there for me, but they still miss the shot again. Now I'm successfully in their bottom deck waiting back there. This guy gets some ammo and I move back so I can try and keep him at the stairs so he won't move, have a big range of moving left and right. Now he's bottleneck by the stairs where I was able to sword lunge towards him and kill him as expected. Drop their anchor, please. Now the other guy rushes and jumps over the helm to go down and try and stop me, which gives me a clear path to drop their anchor. As we're fighting right here, I notice that my sword just suddenly stopped slashing and I die, which is not a problem because we dropped anchor and got what we wanted. Now these guys might lack some skill, but they are smart, as they notice that I went for a third boarding attempt and they move far away from me because they know if I get a hold of their ladder, I'm gonna deal some damage. As you can see, they move far to the opposite direction, which is the proper way to actually prevent me from boarding their ship. Be careful from the border. There's no shot. Now, as I fail the third boarding attempt, we go to the opposite and try and sell something. I do a sharp turn to get a cannon shot at them, but that obviously doesn't work because they're moving too fast. Then I notice that there's one guy trying to board us again. I think this guy keeps jumping too early. That's why I keep missing like the first time. Right now, all oh, there is. He's still trying so hard to get here. Watch borders, watch borders, yeah? Now the fact that the one is in the water, that means one left on the ship. So I try and take advantage of the situation to board them. Especially that their sails were raised and they're slower. I wait again for them to shoot once. There it is. Oh, the other one came back. Then I noticed that the other guys here again, but they missed the blunderbuss. Just like how they did them many times before. Now, as I said earlier, these guys are smart. They learn from their mistakes and try and get better. So this time, they actually sent both of them to kill me and they succeeded. With that in mind, now I know that boarding them is not going to be useful. So we decided to pull a trick on them by selling an empty chest at the outpost. Raise the sails halfway so we can slow down 
Now they're noticing that one of us jumped to try and sell something shiny. From their perspective all they can see is me holding some type of a glow. Now as I swim with a fake loot, I'm trying to stay slow and make sure that they spot me. I'm waiting for one of them to jump or any signal that I'm spotted. There it is. Now I can see the glow of the spyglass. Now I know they see me and one of them is definitely chasing after me. There he is. He lost one bullet so far. Nothing happened to me as I go to the island. Now I drop the chest pretending that I'm trying to protect it really hard and I start fighting. Now that guy is not aware that this is exactly what I want and he fell right into my trap. I don't care if I die or not. All I want him is to waste time on this island. That's why if you notice I just keep eating pineapples. Now as we fight, you notice he's trying to stay by the chest to prevent me from taking it back. Then all of a sudden I notice that there is a blunderbuss reloading on the right side of me. This is when I notice that both of them are off the ship so I have no idea if they anchored or not but what I'm sure about is that no one is chasing our sloop anymore. As I roll on the deck laughing, mission succeeded. Are they gone? As I load back, Jackie tells me that they left the sloop and it crashed right into the outpost so plan worked even better than expected. Fast forwarding to Long Cove as we finish the last step of our voyage. Oh, they're coming back, he's pissed. <laughs> uh. So this time they removed the reaper flag, thinking that we're not noticing them. So we raise the sails and pretend that we are here, unaware of their presence. The fact that they fell for our first trick, now I know that they are in our mast. No, no, hold on, stay still. So they're not gonna expect me to go through the island and board them. I'm gonna attempt that and give them the element of surprise. Before I sword lunge, I do a quick look to make sure that there is no one behind me. Now I wait for them to get closer and proceed with my boarding attempt. The fact that they are closer will prevent the mermaid to spawn in front of their ship as my ship is right on the other side, so they're not gonna see that coming. As I go up the ladder, the guy's angling the sails, then he suddenly notices that I'm here and misses with his blunderbuss again. Now the ship is mine and he's caught by surprise. I'm on his ship. As I wait here, I don't see the other guy, so he probably went to the island just before I boarded the ladder to go to our ship. Killed him. Now I have no kegs or any way of causing damage to their hull unless I crash into the island. Now with the current low speed of the ship, I know that it probably caused one or two holes maximum. So I'll have to deal with a couple of returns from the ferry of these guys until the ship sinks. He's here. Oh, who's dead again? Oh. Now Jackie informs me that the other guy boarded us and killed her. Where is he gonna take it without a ship? Like there's absolutely no harm of him being on our ship. Now the other guy on our ship is perfectly fine and harmless because by the time he drops loot in the water, their ship will be sunk and he'll have no way to sell it. And I wait here facing the bowsprit, just making sure that the guy won't use that platform there to board the ship. But he eventually doesn't. And with his long absence, I know that he's heading towards our ship. Oh, he's dead. The shark killed him. Now as I said earlier, the other guy is dropping loot in the water, but there is no use as eventually he'll die and we'll take it back. No, 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 he's there, he's there, he's coming from the back. Just watch the ladders. So his presence earlier on our ship was actually useful. I'll watch with the spyglass, show you, see you annihilating. Yeah, there he is. Now that guy trying to board between both of us and having a shark on him is an impossible case. I shot him. Once. Now, I don't know what killed him, us or the shark, but all I know that he's gone. Is he dead? Now, this is not all. As we head back to the outpost, we find the same surprise again. Some coming back, uh, by the way. Where? Let me go Where are they? Fast. Where are they? Oh, them? It started getting real late, and all I wanted to do is just sell loot, so we managed to get rid of some of it before they get to us. Oh, that is them. I angled the wheel to the right so I can have them within my cannon range, as obviously they weren't thinking clear anymore after all the losses that they took. I give them a couple of cannonball hits before we engage in battle. 
so I can get a head start in sinking them or delay them from boarding us because they're gonna be repairing their ship. Of course, seeing gunpowder bells on the crow's nest, now I know what their intention is. That one? Nice! I heard it, I didn't know. Getting that, of course, played for my favor and destroyed their mast. But now the tables have turned that we are in their cannon range and they are right ahead of us. So I'm not able to get a cannon shot hit at them. It's fine. There's only one hole actually in the bottom. Just, just keep going over here. Just, I'll do it. All right. Someone's coming, obviously, because they stopped shooting for a second. Now, as I look, I see one in the water trying to head towards us. Oh, we're getting kegged. As soon as I hear the wick lighting, I jump off the ship to prevent getting killed from the explosion and stay alive to repair the ship after. We got kegged. It's wait, wait, fine. Wait, wait, we're wait, good, wait. right? No, because I got someone coming at me. I know, I know. Just repair. I got him. I got him. Don't worry. Of course not. I didn't got him as I missed all five shots. But as he goes back to the ship, I wait and load some cannons because he's obviously gonna take the left ladder that is closer. Then he meets his destiny, I killed him, and the other guy right on the cannon also meets his destiny with cannonballs, and they are both dead. I killed both of them. Oh, they sunk. Oh. Of course, I stay in the water to make sure no one comes back or a mermaid spawn, but none of that actually happened. Why no? No, oh, they even, wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened to the guys that tried to ruin me and Jackie's date. Oh, 185 free coins, thank you so much. If you actually think of the bright side, this was more fun and we still got to sell our loot. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below. Also feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit that bell button so you can help me grow and I provide more content for you. Fuzzy and Jackie here, thank you for watching.